Of course, what happens if the substance that we're testing is a saturated hydrocarbon? Well, firstly, we won't have a reaction. Uh, certainly, we won't have a spontaneous reaction. And uh, unless we have the presence of ultraviolet light, and if we do, then what we may find is we have a substitution reaction. And for a substitution reaction, what we're doing is one of the bromines is going to go into the organic structure and a hydrogen is going to come out. And therefore, we're going to have a, a second product, not just an organic product. We're going to form um, hydrogen bromide. So this is uh, what we get if we have a saturated hydrocarbon. And this is why this is such a good test for the presence of the carbon-carbon double bond, because the color of the bromine is sort of an orangey red to brown, depending on how fresh and how, how long it's been sitting around. Uh, and that color will migrate into the from the aqueous layer into the organic layer. And then once it's in that organic layer, if there is a, a double bond or a triple bond present, then the bromine is going to add across that bond spontaneously and that will decolorize um, the mixture uh, and eventually uh, may in fact remove all of the color. So you might end up with two colorless uh, substances at the end of all of that. So this is a great test, the bromine water test, very simple test for identifying carbon-carbon double bonds. A couple of other things we need to look at, but thanks very much for watching.